Finding a great guy is hard, right? You feel like you've searched and you've been out everywhere, yet the guys that you meet just aren't in it for the long haul. So you just sit at home eating Ben and Jerry's thinking, ain't no guys looking for anything more these days. Or are you just looking in the wrong places? Well, I'm about to give your search engine an upgrade. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Kit, your personal dating coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through four great places to meet really good guys that you've probably slipped under your radar. And you know I love hearing from you. Some of you have been messaging me recently on Instagram, so come drop me a message about a video. Or if you want a one-to-one, -one, you can always just book a session in the link below. Now let's get into the video. So the first place to meet a good guy is university, or for some of you across the pond, college. Now sure, a lot of people see university as, you know, party central. You know, it's the place where you go and do all the naughty things you were told not to, you meet all kinds of new people, and you know, you take lots of different stuff. Kind of the beginning of hot girl summer. Now, yes, while it may seem as party central, there is a whole demographic of guys that we're missing out. The guys who are keeping their heads down, who are working on their craft of foundation to springboard their career, who value their future just as much as they value the present. And the guy who was focusing on his craft while everybody else is partying is the kind of guy who's looking for something more substantial with a woman for his future, as opposed to, hey, are you free Friday night for a Netflix and chill? And while there are some girls who will be going through the frat boys and the jocks and the athletes at their college, and I literally mean go through them, the smart women who recognize they want something more will turn their attention to the guys who have their heads in books. Because when you look at people like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, who are two of the most powerful men in the world, they had been with their respective wives since day one. And remember, you can be at uni at 18, 21, 31, or even 51. You may be doing a master's in something that you always wanted to do that you are really passionate about. And it's still a worthwhile place to meet a good man. The common mistake that we make is that when we're at uni or college, we are constantly exposed to so many people all of the time. And if you're at any normal, unconventional uni or college, you're gonna be surrounded by hundreds, if not thousands of potential people. It feels like the potentials are endless and it gives us a false sense of abundance from when we leave uni to getting into the real world. Because when we get into the real world, at least for the average person, you realize that actually your pool of people that you're restricted to is your work, your friends and your social life, which is usually nightclubs and bars, which we now know nightclubs and bars, not the best place to find something, you know, meaningful. The next great place to meet a guy is a private members club. No, not a nightclub, a members club. A nightclub has sticky floors, sweaty bodies, and desperation. A members club has industry professionals, nice places and lounges so you can converse, and frankly, class. The kind of guys at members club are going to be very different than the kind of guys at nightclubs. At a members club, usually the environment is already set for like a really nice date anyway. Now you may be thinking, okay Kit, but how much is this gonna cost me, all right? Because members club, especially in cities, they ain't no joke. And girl can't be out here spending rent for expensive tables and expensive cocktails. It doesn't have to cost you anything. There are some members clubs that cost you monthly, there are some that charge yearly, and there are some that are free. It's just an application process. Of course, the caliber of club is gonna be reflected in the price, so take that what you will. If you're looking for a particular caliber of man, it might take a certain level of financial investment because you're not just looking for anyone, you're looking for the right guy for you to choose and for him to choose you. The next valuable place for you to find a really good guy is at your friends' parties. And no, obviously I don't mean when you're going out to the club with all your girlfriends or it's someone's head night. I mean actual parties where maybe they hire a venue for an event or maybe it's a housewarming thing, a house party or a birthday, or maybe they're hosting it for someone else. And the reason this is a good place to meet other guys is because the guys at these parties, you know, the guys that are either your friend's guy friends or their friend's guy friends, they've already kind of been vetted as decent people because otherwise they wouldn't be in your friend circles. And obviously if these guys are friends with your friends, then you're more likely to have something in common and you're more likely to get on as well. Provided, you know, 
you have good taste in friends. <laughs> and yes, of course, dating apps seem to bring a certain level of abundance and endless possibilities. But most people today, even with all the dating apps and the level of exposure you have to so many different people, most people today would rather meet their significant other in real life, at an event or through a friend, whatever that may be. So when your friend is having a party at his or her house, don't be afraid to ask, hey, is there anyone cool coming that you think I may get on with? Is there a guy who you think would be a good match for me? People used to help match people back in the day all the time. Obviously, I'm not talking about, you know, arranged marriages. That's like the extreme end of the spectrum. But it was definitely a thing for girlfriends to go, hey, look, there's this guy at work who I think you'd really get on with. He's really cool. I've worked with him for an X amount of time. That was very normal. But for some reason now, there's this stigma of maybe asking your friends, you know, your friends, who love you, care about you and want you to be happy. There's the stigma of, oh, well, if I ask them for help or support in finding someone or suggesting someone to me, then that makes me look desperate. And it really shouldn't because people used to do this all the time back in the day. And if you can trust anyone to choose a good match for you, surely it would be one of your closest friends anyway. So don't be afraid to ask if they've got anyone in their circles that you may not know about. And next time that they're having an event, make a bit of an extra effort because you never know who you're gonna meet. This next place at finding a potential great guy is at the gym. The gym is a great place to meet someone. And there's a few reasons for this. Number one, if he's at the gym, he's likely to be in decent shape or is there working towards it. Number two, if he's there, it usually showcases that he has self-discipline because anyone who goes to the gym to work themselves out usually has a certain level of self-discipline, especially if he's in good shape. And number three, if you are an avid gym goer already, then you guys already have something in common. You both are working towards a similar goal of improving your health and improving your fitness. Now, yes, I know a lot of people are avid gym goers nowadays, but if we're being honest, how many people do we see go to the gym to take photos in the mirrors for their Instagram and people are actually at the gym because they're looking to get into better shape. Meeting someone at the gym is a really easy thing to do. And it's a great place to do because there's no pressure. There's no pressure for you to go and talk to someone. You're not all dressed to the nines with a drink in your hand and your friend's throwing up in the bathroom, yet you're trying to talk to this guy or he's trying to come talk to you, but he hasn't got the confidence to. You feel like you've sent the signals and it's not working. There's none of that nonsense there. And the conversation can start so innocently. It could be as simple as you asking him, hey, do you know how to use this machine? Could you show me? Or maybe you ask, oh, are you a personal trainer? Which is gonna give him an ego boost because you know, what guy doesn't wanna look like he's a personal trainer? And then maybe you could start doing leg day together or start doing back days together. People who go to the gym and become regulars that's how they meet people and make friends at the gym because they start training together. And it's outside, you know, the whole party environment of just drinking and who has the best sex appeal. I mean, don't get me wrong, that stuff is great when we indulge in that, but it's not the best place to find something meaningful. If you're looking for a guy who sparks up your love life, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful tribe. And as always, keep it slick. How?